Okay guys, so this is my setup and this is what I need. I'm standing, so <laughs> bear with me. And I'm doing this in the room, not in the kitchen, so it's gonna be a bit bit weird. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but let's crack on. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need some pumpkins, any size you want. You're gonna I took a bit bigger knife and smaller knife. If you have smaller knives, it's good. Be careful. I took this so make the to make not them wet and if any like extra water then I have these as I mentioned these are for <laughs> um, I do for shoes sofas bags jackets and more so they're not exactly for this kind of stuff but I think it will work especially when I have shining in the night color so I will need these and I will need cup with the water and as well this so sorry felt so, like a bit dirty but yeah, I will have this as well. Um, but thing, first thing I want to do is different stuff. Then these candles that I was talking about, I have loads of them, so I might use them. And hot glue gun. I mean, it's really easy. It's not much like things you need to do. Okay. Oof, help me. Oh, they're really, really tough, though. Okay, whatever, whoever is gonna do this at home, be more careful. I almost cut myself so if you were just if you can ask the adult people help because it's actually quite like it's like slipping away or not take sharp knife so mm -hmm. it smells so good I wish you could smell it. it smells really good so last year when I was doing this I didn't take out any I would need a board probably not a plate to cut it Okay, now it should be a bit easier. <laughs> I took the spoon as well as something I will need to take it. But let me just try it. I do understand that it might not look much of the safe. But trust me, it is safe. So you can leave it just like that. Really simple. Or you can go deeper and try to do something different. And I was doing this in the fan here, yeah? and I think I had it on the bed, and I took my Degu, I had Degu in the fan yeah? and he got on the bed, and there was my pumpkin, and he started eating it. I do have a video of it, so I will show you, that's so hilarious, like honestly. <laughs> you know, it reminded me of that um, animation, Cinderella, and there is a mouse and a pumpkin. <laughs> That's really funny. Maybe that's how they come up. Well, let's try to put the candle now. I doesn't want to fit. I know some people will say that might be safety hazard or something like that, but um, the one that I had previously, um, nothing happened to it, nothing burned or anything, so it was pretty safe, like I already tried it. Should be fine as long as it's like gets in and is stable, you know, like that. And then when you burn it, it's just gonna burn next to it if you really want to just because you're afraid that it's gonna get to catch the fire you just can cut these like sides but yeah 
that's basically it and when it's gonna be burning it's gonna make these um, these sides are gonna make a shadow and it's gonna look really really nice um, I will do the example for you so you could see so yeah this is the first thingy um, and always always as well don't put it obviously like that because this one is gonna get hot from the candle always have these so you could put underneath or I don't know ideally if you have some kind of I don't know something else you can do to do that too but this is how I will put it and okay so with the hot gun um, we have this one we bought a little little has sometimes really good stuff down there so you can see this is on just gonna wait for lambachka sorry can it just stop falling please yeah so we will wait <clears throat> okay so the whole clone started already working just make sure you're not gonna make a mess on the table and yeah i will try to do doesn't want to go out much kind of started but it doesn't go okay I realized that I made this a bit bad because well I don't have space for my <laughs> shit <laughs> okay let's zoom in but it's like ah, my hot glue can is just now going with the glue, which is not the best. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't pay attention to me. I always make things like mm, funny. Yeah, but this is the point that you don't do this just randomly you need to come up with Jesus ideas. Okay, I will use this one, so I don't want to waste the glue. Um, so let me make the eyes a bit higher. All right, I think you got the idea. This one is unfortunately to just with the eyes and the nose, there is no spot, but you can try another side. And let it dry so if you can see this was my basically my point what to do right if you want you can nicely like you know take off the glue this is like not nice this looks quite okay this was like a bit of <laughs> a mess but this one looks cool okay so basically I have this cup with the water and and I took this color so this is shining in the dark color and this one black and this one burgundy I was thinking you know to make a blood um, I will use three of them and I'm gonna try to paint our boys And yeah, basically you can do this, you know, with family on Halloween day. I'm doing it earlier because I'm not gonna have time, but you could do this on Halloween day itself with your kids. Look at this. You can make, you know, with the hot glue so they wouldn't burn themselves and they can like just paint it 
over and I think you can go really all the way with this and I could even make white color there. He <laughs> looks cool. Okay, so I asked on Instagram what to do with this one and we will see what people will vote for because I'm really not sure how I'm supposed to do with this beauty so I'm just gonna leave it um, but yeah, these two are almost done so what I wanna do is just put the shining in the dark beautiful thingy It's not fully, fully dried, but don't be worried, this white is not gonna stay. It's gonna, because this paint dries out and it becomes invisible, transparent basically. <laughs> invisible. <laughs> transparent, so don't worry that you can see it now. Okay, so let's back. The problem is, I noticed it doesn't want to try. If you can see, it's on top, um, still left. And I think it's gonna stay there until the evening. I assume this needs to. So maybe just be more patient. No, don't be like me. I don't have patience at all. <laughs> um, so I just wait a bit longer. Hello guys, so it is the next day and I wanted just to show you that the um, transparent paint that I put on top, it's already soaked in. So what I needed to wait just to, to do, um, just to be more patient and yeah, I think you would, if you're gonna do this painting as me, with those paint, you need to just leave it till for the night so it would actually dry out properly. So what I will do, I will just put on top of this side because I didn't do that and I would be fine. Um, so I do have the stickers that my mom sent to me and yesterday I bought these ones from Tiger and I would really like to use them and I was thinking to stick them like somewhere in the corner. He's so cute! Like I don't know, I mean I'm not sure how it will look like but something like that my idea or even like on top of it not gonna want to stick obviously but then on the other side we need to find something similar right so i was not sure how would that work Because these pumpkins are not straight, it's kind of difficult, but I think that looks cool. So yeah, if you could find, if you want to find a way how to improve um, your pumpkins, it's awesome. Beautiful white pumpkin. I did a, a poll on Instagram and you people voted that I should paint on it. 75%. Um, basically, uh, I googled, I found a few nice pictures, but then I was like thinking how it can be more interesting and I came up with an idea. Fred. Fred. Fred? Fred. <laughs> Look at this, guys, honestly. Um, it's gonna be really complicated to show it, but I will need a hot glue to prepare but what I was thinking please can you focus can I think look at this and you just go you can make a circle immediately just that's why I said I need hot glue so I would stick this one and just go all around it right I already tried it by myself 
and then to go on this way like you will see the idea but I thought that is much cooler than just paint on it and I really don't want to damage this pumpkin because I really like it, how it looks like really nice so let me get ready my hot glue gun and we will crack on basically okay so what the first thing that I'm thinking to do um, while, while my hot, gun, hot glue gun is <laughs> heating um, so we will make all around it like that so it would actually stay I will use, I will use this if you have to pick that's awesome okay money hot glow gun is ready and let me just put it yeah it should hold perfectly fine and i will start from here and you just need to go here then you can make a circle go here so yeah the main point from this is to check check where the lines are going and just follow them nicely make a circle For it to stay, I would suggest to just go around the circle, like that, and then we can cut it. And what I want to do, I want to do again use the hot glue gun. Um, I know I wanted to continue, but I'm gonna make it separately, so... As you may see, it just sticks here. And what my idea was, it would be nice to secure here, like, you know, press it a bit, like push it. So it would be like that, but we will need a bit loose snap. So, but my point was to go like this, all right? Take this just go through every single one um, don't worry if it doesn't look good at the moment or if it's all out of place because we will get there we just need to start doing that again You just need patience for that I think that's the only thing you need for this and then like I think later if you're doing on the big pumpkin probably it will take ages but I think that's such a like cool activity and it doesn't require much and then you kind of you're not losing a pumpkin basically like you can use it then later you know for food or something like that if you want so i think it's really great al alternative how to make your pumpkin look good yeah but okay well let's say we want this to set up the way it is already so i'm just gonna do a nice this okay so we're making it secure with this one, I will make secure later. The pin, what I meant, is this one, you know? Or any this kind of stuff. So. Just to make sure it's actually secure. Here we go. Alright? So it needs to hold so you could know how much tension you need to put and it wouldn't go out 
if you know what I mean. Okay, so now I can like repeat the thingy. Oh Jesus Christ. Why the spread needs to go everywhere? Okay. Right? So I'm gonna take out the bobby pin, place on blur, and so I would make sure that this actually stays. We're gonna tie it. Um, before that, I will want to make sure that I'm happy with how it looks. I sit down where I'm not supposed to sit down, hanging there. But with this, we can tie it. So it actually would hold and I think what would be great if you could tie Make these tights on the same side. So when you're gonna be actually using it the pumpkin You wouldn't like put on the side that you don't notice And I think I'm not gonna go here because there's no point like when you put it on top it looks awesome. So this is how it looks from above This is how we will have from the side on either side now we need to fix this so I just need to put a hot glue gun put some kind of like you know push it so it holds otherwise it's gonna start coming off Just make sure don't make it too big bump because if you're gonna make the big bump it's not you know you're not gonna be able to um, place it like straight so if you can make it as flat as possible it is a bit bumpy from this that I made with hot glue but I tried to make as flat as possible so it's fine it's like still standing um, it can be a bit like on one side or on the other side. I don't think that's a big issue. Okay, so the hot glue started coming out. What do we need to do, folks? Is just wait for it to dry out. Okay, so as I wanted to just mention, this is just a learning process. So don't worry if from the first time it doesn't work out. I think um, it kind of worked out for me, the web perfectly, but the the spider itself didn't. But it's all good. I'm like I'm not worried about it. And anyway, I did completely different of what my Instagram post said to do. <laughs> so I think a little bit of painting, people will be happy. <laughs> At least a little bit of it. I don't know why, but for me to put the hot glue and then paint it over, it's like... Maybe I'm just making it too complicated for myself, but it does look much cooler. I don't know. And I was just afraid that, you know, this paint is not gonna stay, so it's... 
kind of another reason I decided to do this on hot glue but it's kind of makes it pop out I mean it more looks like just some kind of bug <laughs> not a, um, my precious um, spider but like I think it's cool because it's kind of popping out you know that's why I kind of for that to do it with hot glue gun is a bit more cooler but it depends on you I mean if you don't want to you can just paint it over and not have a problem like me you know that something is not turning right because it's difficult to shape something with the hot glue gun so yeah this is my weird, weird, weird spider. Okay, just want to make it a close-up. Yeah, it's, he's a bit too thick. I think he's like, you know, just eight. He's like crawling all over. Another thing, I put it on the side where you can see there is a tie, so it would secure even more, so you can do that the same. Um, the red color that you're seeing there is just my jumper. It's for some reason. Is it not my jumper? Yeah, it's, what is this red color? I think it is my jumper. Um, having a reflection, which is really weird, but yeah, it's not, it doesn't have anything red on it. Yeah, it's just like this massive weird spider. <laughs> and then if you go, it's this really nice web that we have here. Yeah. So, fingers crossed, who voted for painting me? I hope I didn't ruin your, your expectations, but I think this is much better. I mean, this doesn't look good though and obviously probably without hot glue gun it would have mu been much smoother but I really wanted something you know to just stick on off top of it and I needed to secure one tight like the place where I tied so I think it's absolutely fine and again it's Halloween it doesn't matter even if it doesn't even work it doesn't have to be like beautiful or anything it can be like you know some kind of I don't know weird spider which is trying to try like transfer him himself to some kind of monster you know it's just like it's the thing it needs to be scary and it needs to be not nice so that's the main point I think thank you